Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining me. Spider47 here, and we are continuing our Hansa campaign. In the last episode, we managed to get to our limit of 999 admin points. We are still a few months shy of piecing anyone out or having peace, so we're going to have to pick an idea. Um, let's see... Well, we're not actually, we're behind, so we could take all the ideas. Let's go ahead and take an idea here, or the next level here. She'll take the next military level as well, and do we want the next diplomacy level? I think we shall. There we go. It's levels in each one of the categories. Now, we are going to have to pick an idea. Um, I think administratively... Being the Hansa, I've kind of liked the idea of expansion. Uh, we get an extra colonist, we get an extra merchant, uh, global settler growth, we've got an additional diplo relations, ship billing cost time goes down, diplo reputation, diplo relation one, diplo reputation plus three. But we get additional global trade power as well. On top of that, we get a permanent Casas Belli against less advanced nations in Asia. So, that might be the administrative idea. The only other one that may make sense would be the administrative ideas. Um, these actually would work very well with the plutocratic ideas. Um, plutocratic ideas, we gain another merchant. Our merchant steering towards inland uh, is plus 20 as well. Um, as you can see, tech cost minus 5 goes down overall. Manpower recovery speed is plus 10%. Also, tolerance of heathens goes up. Um, so, national revolt risk goes down. If we take plutocratic as well as administrative ideas, we then gain national tax modifiers of plus 5, and we gain national manpower modifier plus 10%. I believe that is part of the policies or yeah giving the pol following following policies so we'll get the land inheritance act diplomatically um we do want to get into the colonial game so we are gonna most likely end up taking exploration diplomatic ideas would be great so would trade um two extra merchants plus the additional merchant over here and here would give us with our three here, a total of, well, seven merchants. That would allow us to steer trade very well. Um, whether we want to take trade now or take trade later doesn't really matter. I think trade is going to be in the books. Uh, we are a trade nation, so having seven merchants, we could very well control trade from the Caribbean all the way up to Chesapeake, St. Lawrence over to the North Sea and to our home network, Lubeck. We are eventually going to also control a majority of the London trade node. As you can see, we already have Scotland. We're working on Northumberland. Wales is next. And, well, Munster will eventually find itself alone because France will actually call us to war. At some point, France will call us to war and we will accept it. As soon as we do, we shall declare on Munster. That said, uh, we are find we find ourselves at war with Norway and Northumberland. We are going to piece them out here shortly. Uh, we have pieced Pomerania out for a second time. We pieced out Denmark in the last episode uh, in our coalition war. We took three provinces uh, and then immediately declared on Norway. And they decided, well, their first beating wasn't enough. They wanted another one. Uh, we've got another election. Uh, we are still kind of behind in Diplo points, so for the time being, I think I'm going to continue with the Diplo relations, gentlemen. Uh, we have sent our fleet north. Well, our... What would you call them? Cogs, sorry. Cog fleet north. We are blockading um, up here. I think these are really the only provinces that I'd really care to have off of Norway if I can't vassalize them in one go. Uh, mostly because they would provide us the quickest access toward uh, Greenland. Now, we have a revolt up here. 
Let's see. Do we want to march all the way up there? I think we will. It's 26, 8, and 13. We won't be over the force limit. Hmm. Or do I just want to spend... I've got a spare diplomat. You know what? We're going to support rebels. I'm going to send you exactly six ducats, and you will leave my provinces alone. Why don't you go siege up Sweden? Alright. So as long as I keep supporting rebels in Norway, these rebellions will not do anything. They will leave my cores alone. We are taking no attrition up here, so that works out perfectly. We can no longer claim Friesland. Oh no. We are eventually going to declare on Munster. Um, if anything, just to break them apart. They are becoming a thorn in our side. And, well, as you can see, we are going to need Hanover. Well, we don't necessarily need, but we definitely want Hanover. All right, Oldenburg has collapsed. The poor unfortunate souls. There we go. Denmark still doing absolutely nothing in this war. Um, you are headed where? Are you going to go all the way? All right, we've sieged up one more province, so I guess now we are actually going to have to march into the Norwegian army. They have a 0-1-1 leader. We have a 3-2-2-1 leader. There we go. Goodbye. Now, their army is gone. We shall leave two units. Send the rest over this way. Come on in. And let's see... You're still at 105. We're going to split these units up. Highlight both. Attach both of them to the fleet. Send one down here and the other one to this island. And then we're just going to wait out some of these sieges. Um, Wales has no army. Wait. Who did you just declare? And England? Wow, we're going to be right back at war with England? I don't think so. We are going to have to move our units down. Our other army down over here to uh, Wales. Ugh. Hmm. Select you... There we go. Let's just bring them all in. Those Norwegians, they just refuse to give up. Alright, Mainz formed a personal union. We have internal wars. Austria is back at war. Alright. Once this war, once this battle finishes. There we go. Now we shall take you and put you on the ship. There we go. Come on. We've got other troops we've got to move around. We've got a whole other country to attack. No leader versus their leader, so this is going to be interesting. This may be a loss, but they are mercenaries, so I'm not too worried about it. Stadt is no longer going to have the unlawful extra revolt risk. And the siege for Lolland is over. Now, Denmark, do you wanna do you wanna sue for some peace? Will you let us take? Be 8.1. Just gonna be like 16. We have no aggressive expansion here. What about here? We have once provinces, but no aggressive expansion. What about here? No aggressive expansion. How about you? We have no aggressive expansion. 
Do we have any aggressive expansion with anybody around us? No. Nobody. Not even with Denmark. Oh, that is Denmark. Yeah, wow. So we have no aggressive expansion, so we could potentially take the final province. Hmm. One, two, three. Take three provinces off them? Do we want to try that? Maybe we will. Let's go ahead and siege up the rest of their lands. Uh, where's our inflation before I decide to do this? We have one inflation. Oh, we'll do that then. Alright, now we do have enough money to finish building out our fleet. So we've got eight heavies. We've got 18 light ships. And 500 ducats. We can build 21 more light ships. I think what we will do, however, is build two heavies. That gives us 10. So we'll be at 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. Uh, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, and 61. Here we go. All right, let's see how this battle goes. Crossing penalty is against us. Yep, we're going to retreat. All right. Well, that's okay. We'll just wait until we get the remainder of our forces together. We are going to finally take out the remainder of our fleet here. Because I don't see anyone else being too much of a threat. And... I'm going to protect trade in the Baltic. Sweden is gaining too much money off of us. There we go. Well, I think we'll let you recover for a minute. All right, here are five galleys and eight heavies. I think what we will do at this point... Okay, foreign plots. We are at ten Republican. Well, we'll lose ten Republican tradition, but gain another 200 ducats. Since we were at 99, I didn't mind taking it. We're going to take these galleys out, and honestly, they have served their purpose. We're done with them. So, we're going to finish waiting on our fleet, and then we'll work on uh, building a few more. Northumbria has finished. Now, since they are at war with England, I don't know if we really want to try and um, vassalize them, or if we just want to take them. We wouldn't have a core, necessarily. Could release them. Now, let's see. We're going to attach you to the fleet. We're going to send you back up here. No, 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 no. Hold on. That would be a good idea. However, first we need a leader. So, shall use you. Then attach to fleet. We're going to come right up here. That was the only battle we actually lost in that war. All right, so they've got two, and we're going to attack with two. Do have the better leader, so we should just take a minus two landing penalty. All right, there we go. And there we go, that's how it should have gone the first time. Select the army. Take you with us. You come on board. All right. Now we need you to come right over here. 
And we're going to have to bring these units over as well. So I don't want the English declaring on Wales. Although Wales looks to be having their own issues at the moment. Now, you are not going to give them military access. No way. Alright, let's come over here. What kind of units do we have here? This is 3 2 3. It's actually a pretty decent mix. I think our fleet would be better served blockading. So, we'll send them up here. Alright. Muscovy will cede Karelia to no. Oh, wow. Sweden beat Muscovy. Why am I not surprised? So we are going to have to worry about them here soon. And England has improved, starting to improve relations with us. Hmm. They won't like us here too much, in too much of time. Alright. Attach units. Send you right over here. Our fleet should be finishing up here in a few days. Yep. March you right here. Send you right here. There we go. There's the first signs of our fleet. We should send them all over here. There we go. think we're going to control the high seas for the time being. I don't see anybody else that's going to be able to compete with us. Nope, we don't want any land units. Just want sea. There we go. Alright. Group you together. We are going to hold out two units. I guess it'll be those two. Well, one unit. You. There we go. Attach you. Diplomacy. Who are you allied with? Munster. Munster will probably take over the war. Correct? They're allied with Wales and France. They're level 7. Hmm. I really would rather not go to war, so we may end up waiting. Hmm. Is there a war that I could call France into? Claire. Nope. Alright. Well, we're going to have to see in the next episode. Our sieges are going along well with Norway. Uh, as you can see, we're going to finish up this northern province. Uh, we'll take these two islands. Uh, we are focusing on Denmark, and, well, we're going to see about what we can do with Denmark. Uh, I'd love to take the remainder of their provinces right here, leaving just Shaland. Um If we can do that, fine. Uh, if that means that we'll have to declare war on Norway again, well, so be it. We have built our fleet, so we are, as you can see, just shy of our force limit. Uh, we're going to build the rest most likely heavy since we have the ducat space for it. That said, that'll all have to wait till the next episode. Um, if you like the series so far, please consider hitting like, leave a comment, and as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.